In this tutorial, you will get a brief explanation of the entire process of creating beautiful animation videos using videofork.co. Before I start with this tutorial, I'll let you know what videofork.co is all about. Videofork.co is an online tool to easily create explainer animation videos for your business and marketing campaigns. So without further ado, let's get started with this tutorial. Once you're logged in, you will be redirected to your account page, where you can see the list of projects that you've created and your export requests. Right now, I don't have any projects, so let me go ahead and create one by clicking the Create Project button. When you click the button, videofog.co will create a new project with a placeholder title and redirect you to the editor. Once your editor window is open, let's start about creating our first animation. I will give a brief about each available features as we go along. The very first step is to import your image to the canvas. To import your images to the canvas, click the add new image button. A pop-up will open. Now you will have three options to import your images to your project. In the first tab of the pop-up, you type in the text you need. Choose your text color and form family and click insert text button. The text is imported to your project as an SVG image so that you could manipulate it like any other SVG image. Once you've imported your image to the canvas, a tree fill item will be added in the right panel and the image is added to the canvas. Don't freak out if you don't see your image on the canvas yet. By default, the image is hidden. If you want to see the image, click on the checkbox here to make your image visible on the canvas. Now your image is visible with a blue outline. You can now resize your image by dragging the corners of it and change the location of your image by dragging it within the canvas. Up next, you can search your database of free SVGs for your video. You just type in your keyword and press enter. Select the image you like and click the insert SVG button. In the third tab, you will find two options to import your images. First one is importing via URL. If you have your image or MP4 stored online, you need to paste the direct link with the file extension of that image or your MP4 video here and click import. Second option is uploading your image. It's pretty straightforward. You just click or drag your image in this area and it'll start the upload and your image will be added to the canvas. When your image is positioned in the canvas, the fun part begins. You can go about customizing the animation of the image. Videofork.co works by animating the entrance and exit of an image in the canvas. Start by clicking the button with stopwatch icon in the image build. A drop down will open. It is where you edit the entrance and exit animation of your image. I'm going to customize the entrance animation of the image now. When you click the first drop down, a form is opened. Here you will have three options. First one is for choosing the type of animation for the image to enter the scene. The second option is where you mention the time when the image should show up in your video. Example, if you want the image to fade in at 5th second, you would type it in this format. The minute, double zero, and a colon, and seconds, zero, five, finally, millisecond, point zero. Now the image will fade in at 5th second of the video. Third option is the duration of the entrance animation. Sometimes if you prefer the entrance to be slow or fast, you can customize the duration of the animation here. After changing your preferred values, you can preview the animation by clicking the test button. If you are satisfied with the preview, click the apply button. The same procedure goes for exit animation. Let me show you a demo by making this image enter with zoom in animation exactly at 4th second and exit with rollout animation at 8th second. First let us choose the entrance animation as zoom in and change the time to 4 seconds. Duration will be 0.5 that is 500 milliseconds. Let's preview and click apply. Now to exit animation settings. Roll out and leave the canvas at 8 seconds. Duration is 1 second. Click apply. Let's play our animation and test. Have a close look at the timer. The image should now zoom in at 4th second and rolls out at 8 seconds. That is how simple it is to animate. Now the same process repeats for all of your image elements in the canvas. Apart from the entrance and exit animations, you might need to add additional animations to your image once it enters the canvas. To add additional animation, first make your image visible by checking the triple checkbox. Once it is visible, choose the additional animation in the in view animation panel. You can hover over the square boxes to preview the animation. I'm going to make my image float horizontally and make the speed fast. Now play the animation. Our image should be floating once it enters the scene. You can add background music to your video. 
Click this box over here and a pop-up will open with three tabs. You have two options to choose background music for your project. You can upload your own music or you can browse through the free music for your video. In the third tab, you can find your previously uploaded music files. The same method goes for voice recordings. You don't have any free pre-recorded voiceovers here, but you can always choose from your local desktop or your previously uploaded voice recordings. To save your project, just click the save button. Make sure to save often during your development to avoid any possible data loss. After you finished your animations and saved your project, you can go about exporting it as video or GIF. To export, hover your mouse over the export button. You will have two drop down items. I will export as MP4 now. Once you click the button, an export request is created. Once the request is successful, you can go to your accounts page to see your export requests and check the status. And that's a wrap. For more tutorials and to create animated videos, visit videofork.co.